Well, whether you have a child experiencing it right now or maybe you remember it yourself, it's not easy going from elementary to middle school. But research right here in Madison shows a potential solution that's effective and affordable for budget-strapped school districts. Here's Danica Lewis. We just got all of our materials ready. We all know good stories have a strong beginning, a solid ending, and a middle. Can be a negative narrative around middle school years for everybody. We're going to do this just a little bit differently today. Dana Surway is one of those teachers at Toki Middle School hoping to rewrite the narrative for her students. Making sure the middle, and your grammar, and your punctuation, and things like that isn't forgotten. Our kids have all these skills. They're creative, they're smart, they're kind, they're empathetic. They're already all of those things. And this is a space for them to come and develop and practice being the people that they want to be. Does that make sense? These sixth graders come from four different feeder schools, each with different experiences, different challenges, different stories. Even when you feel a moment of being overwhelmed, remember this. Do not cut out parts to save time. Which is why people like Corey Foster made it his job. They're finding their true identity. To make the transition into middle school. How cool is that to help with that? Easier for students. The sense of belonging has to be the core of it. You're an adolescent, just like everybody else, and you're going through a lot of changes right now that everybody else is experiencing. Did they feel like they were being treated fairly? Jeffrey uh, Borman is an education professor and researcher at UW-Madison. Increase the number of behavioral referrals by 34 percent. Who noticed just how challenging that switch to sixth grade can be. Students are entering puberty and um, going through all of the social emotional changes, um, cognitive changes at that period of life, but then also piling on top of that this big change going into uh, middle school from elementary school. Borman looked at more than 1,300 sixth graders across all 11 middle schools in Madison and realized most just wanted to fit in. Very meaningful and um, substantial. His solution is simple. Share statements and advice from their peers, not adults, that show students they aren't alone in dealing with all of the changes. The cost of uh, this intervention was about $1.35 per student. The results showed fewer issues with grades, attendance, and behavior among all of those adolescents. These writing exercises helped all kids. It didn't matter the color of your skin. It didn't matter the wealth of your family. It didn't matter whether you were a boy or a girl. It benefited all kids equally. And that was the most exciting thing, I think. Especially exciting at places like Toki, where more than half of the middle schoolers are students of color. One of our greatest assets and strengths, I think, is our diversity. Principal Kyle Walsh is also aware of the challenges that brings, which is why he's particularly proud of the Black Student Union. I wanted to see people that look like me. With the help of Mr. Foster and Mrs. Surway, the club has gained momentum over the past few years, giving all students a place to share their struggles, their successes, and their suggestions. We need student voice. We need them to help us figure out where we're going because they usually have a better idea than we do. It's no us or them. It's, it has to be both us. Everyone with their own story. We want to have the best possible story. But working through it together, okay. knowing the middle matters. Having that mentality that we can pick each other up and keep moving forward is essential in middle school. In Madison, Danica Lewis, News 3 Now. Toki's administration is looking forward to working with Borman and his research team in the future to develop even more effective ways to keep sixth graders on track. And in the meantime, the UW is testing the method at middle schools in Arizona and Texas to see if the positive results can be replicated there.